Hi train friends, welcome to the Ozark Midland Southern Railway. I'm Bill B. And I hope this video finds you doing well. So here it is, a little past mid-October, and I want to share with you how the OMS is preparing for the upcoming winter months. This should be a good time to get some things done on the railroad. If you look around the OMS, there are projects galore that need to be accomplished. Everyone is different, but it helps me to have a plan so rather than seeing a myriad of things that need to be done, I can select specifically those things that I want to accomplish and then focus on them. Now, I'm not going to be giving away any corporate secrets here, as my plans have been approved by the, the railroad's president, Will B. Goodman, and the board, as suitable for release to the public. So we are all good here. Let me grab my camera and I'll show you what I have planned. Okay, so there are basically four projects I would like to accomplish this winter. The first is to create two short tunnels. This is one that you're looking at now. And the second is right over here. there in that little that little hill or mountain okay and then I want to further uh, the plan by completing the project on the main table that will involve finishing the contours and adding scenery to the large hill and then around the bridge loop that you see over there in the, in the background The second project will involve further refining the girder bridge over here. I want to, I want to develop the ground contours for the small river below the bridge, install the bridge, and then replace the fast track that is now on top of the bridge with a piece of Gargrave's track for a little more prototypical appearance. The third project is going to be starting the process of installing some flexible foam rock wall around both sides of the inner elevation trackage. And that's this area right in there. Right in there. I apologize for the noise in the background. No more than I started filming this segment and darn if some work didn't kick up in the yard. But nothing I do about that. I think this aspect of the, uh, the project, this project's gonna be kind of challenging, but hopefully when I'm done with it, it'll look pretty sharp. So we'll swing around over here. And finally, the fourth project will be completing the two TW Trainworks false front background buildings I purchased uh, for behind the small Susiana Bill yard. These structures were kind of expensive, but I really wanted to put them on the railroad. It's going to take more than just these two to kind of fill the to fill the void, but. Uh, Two right now is enough. And I'll work on the ladder two. It's probably gonna take a couple more structures. So I'll work on the ladder two uh, sometime in the future. If I walk around the railroad, I want to show you the OMS workshop. It's where I like to say the magic happens.
And I will say, I am the only one that says that. Okay, kind of over here to the to the very right, you can see a a bucket of uh, of dirt and rock that my wife and I went out after this weekend. Going to use that beneath the bluffs and or other places around the layout. Okay, here you can see where I uh, have my wooden two by four templates built to f uh, form the uh, polyurethane foam and fiberglass screen material that I'll be using to uh, create the interior of my two tunnels. This is where that work will take place. I'll show you some of what I'm doing over the course of the project, but if you really want to learn more about the process, I would uh, recommend you watch Eric Siegel of Eric's Trains. He does an eight-part tutorial on making tunnels using the process I'm going to be using here. He really does do an excellent job of explaining the process in detail. And I will uh, leave a link in the, in the first part of the eight-part uh, tutorial in the description. As you might imagine, right now the OMS is very busy moving coal to uh, the power plants across mid the Midwest as they strive to build up their reserves as a cold winter has been predicted. That's some Kentucky coal I got down in Appalachia. I'm going to step aside now so I can get started on creating the first of those two planned tunnels. Before I end the video though, I have some uh, footage of a Missouri Pacific coal train on the OMS in action moving coal across the uh, line that I would love to show you. Cut.
Well, King Tree and friends, as I bring this video to a close, I want to thank you for watching and invite you to follow the OMS as I work to accomplish my winter projects. I also want to give a big shout out to the subscribers of the channel. I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel you got something from it. So until we meet again on the Ozark Midland and Southern, please do take care. Bye now.